Hi, I'm Stan Rowe. I'm the CEO of NXT Biomedical. We're an incubator that's funded by Deerfield Capital, Johnson & Johnson, and Edwards Life Sciences. And our job is really fun. It's to do the big, hard medical device innovation a lot of small companies don't want to take on. We want to do things that really move medicine. And it's a privilege to do this kind of work that really impacts patients. And I have a small but very capable team based here at ULP. Matrigenics is a young medtech startup utilizing platform technology to develop implants for tissue engineering applications. Our patented in-house processes and specialized source materials enable us to create highly tunable 3D polymeric matrices adaptable to the customized need and a wide range of medical applications. Our first product, which will set the foundation for many others to come, targets the dental space. I'm Damien Wheeler. I'm the CEO of Translucence Biosystems. Our company is using newly developed technology that takes tissues and makes them almost invisible. And by making them clear, we can image whole intact tissues. And this is the beginning of a dimensional shift in histology technology that's going to make huge changes in the way we, we deal with human biopsies um, and other things. Hi, I'm Dan Gill, uh, CEO of Siege Pharmaceuticals, and we are working on a new cancer treatment. The treatment will prevent the cancer cells from getting the energy that they need, causing them to die. Hello, my name is Wes Hatfield. I'm proud to be the CEO of Eritari Biosciences. Our mission is to accelerate drug discovery and lower the cost of drug development. Utilizing our patented vascularized microtissues and experienced knowledge of the drug discovery pipeline, our Akari can help uh, understand the biology, efficacy, toxicity, and cost of candidate drugs, and thus inform clinical trial design. NovaHeart is a tissue engineering company and we focus on making cardiac tissues. So we make miniature cardiac tissues in a dish that beat and contract. So with these models, we test drugs for safety and toxicity and possible therapeutic applications. Hi, my name is Ahmed Zobi. I am the CEO of Central Health Technologies. We are reducing the diabetic amputations in the aging population using the patient's own fat tissue. How we do this is we've created our own device called the Centrifuge Machine, which has a disposable, consumable inside of it that allows us to process the patient's own fat so that we can microfragment or break it down into little bite-sized pieces and re-inject it back into their wounds to help heal the wounds from the inside out using the structural and supportive natures of the fat tissue. We're delighted to be part of the ULP family. It's a great facility that gives us a very affordable access to many technical resources that otherwise we cannot afford. We also would like to engage in the community and give back to accelerate the life science ecosystem in the Orange County area. Being able to be part of ULP gives us an avenue to have tissue culture, fabrication equipment, other standard lab equipment. These are things that as a small company, we can't afford to buy for ourselves being here within ULP with these shared facilities that opens up so many doors for the, the growth of our company at a scientific level and also at a, a growth at a business level with all the interactions we'll have with people. We are excited to be part of the ULP experience and be close to the university as well as be surrounded by other startup companies and soak in all that energy. At ULP, Novahar is looking forward to developing our technology, both on the fabrication side, uh, with all the facilities that we have here, including the lasers, the 3D printers, and also on the biological side with the tissue culture facilities here. What we hope to accomplish at ULP is the utilization of the wet lab facilities so that we can validate, test out our device, and hopefully get into human clinical trials uh, by the middle of this year. ULP is an amazing place for us to do this work. Really nice lab space to
to do our early stage feasibility work. But there's a lot of shared equipment that we can utilize and well, I think the key thing though is that there's a staff and a culture here that will support early stage work for companies that are looking to grow and advance their therapies.